This week looks like an amazing week where we really get to practice what we've learnt recently, all the growth, personal growth that's been going on, and it looks pretty impressive. Hi and welcome back. Um, my name's Francisca. Once a week I make a um, pick a card tarot reading for YouTube and I also make other videos about empaths, Blu-rays, spiritual topics, um, twin flames, soulmates, all sorts of things are on my channel. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy it, please subscribe and then you can be notified when I upload a video. So anyway, as we look at the coming week for row one, we've got the Nine of Cups, which is awesome. It's wonderful. It's a time of really enjoying your blessings, abundance, joy in that, appreciating it, and something good coming to you. It's like called the Wish Card traditionally. It means something positive or surprises coming into your life. So keep your eyes open this week because there could be something nice in the works on Monday or Tuesday. But even if it's nothing earth shattering, it's generally a sense of, of feeling happy with where you're at. You're feeling loved, you're feeling content, you're feeling good about where you are. So that's very, very positive. And our attitude is so important. So that's looking fantastic for row one. So for Wednesday and Thursday, we've got the star. <laughs> The star is all about new beginnings, um, starting something new. So Wednesday and Thursday are great for starting anything new, new goal, new project, new relationship, um, getting fit, getting healthier, anything like that. It's a brilliant time for that. You've got the enthusiasm and the energy this week on Wednesday and Thursday to really give it a good go, give it a good push. So fantastic for things like that, for new beginnings and relationships too. If you've had some troubles or things like that, it's time to start afresh. That doesn't mean you have to leave your partner, but maybe you need to have a fresh start together, you know. Or if you haven't got one, you might meet somebody new. So for the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we've got the Six of Pentacles. And it's all about sharing and giving. Um, and it can be either somebody sharing or giving something to you or the other way around where you're actually helping somebody. And I feel it's more likely to be that you are actually, you've had such a great week. You're ready to be kind and supportive and boost your friends or your loved ones up. So it looks like you're going to do something really positive this weekend. You know, sometimes the simple act of sitting down with a friend, having a cuppa, listening to them, telling them you believe in them, <laughs> is all they need to move on, move forwards and do the things they need to do. You know, it means so much. So this weekend is a prime time to support, to care, to assist. My kitty cat's playing with her toy mouse down there. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so it looks like a fantastic weekend. So spend your time with people sharing, caring, loving. You may also get another nice surprise. It just looks like a really positive week for row one with a lot of love, a lot of sharing, a lot of kindness and also abundance. So very, very good. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so the cards are looking very, very positive for you. So for Monday and Tuesday, we've got the King of Swords. King of Swords is about somebody around you who might be overbearing, bossy. This could be at work or even in personal relationships, family. And it's your test to set boundaries. This week looks like for row twos, it's about setting boundaries, saying no, learning to say no, <laughs> and... Being firm with that, you know, there's been a bit of learning going on around that. So now it's time to test those new skills. So by Wednesday and Thursday, we've got the hanged man. The hanged man is all about, yeah, trusting your own wisdom, not putting as much importance on what society or everybody wants you to do and trusting your own intuition and your own instincts. So if you need some time to reflect on that, take it, make time for yourself this week. It'll keep you clear, it'll keep you strong. And by the weekend, you're in with the Queen of Cups, which is all about feeling warm, cared for, 
loved up, whatever, whether it's relationships or family or you're around some nice people for the weekend and feeling pretty happy and pretty close with them. So the weekend's going to be really relaxing and nice. And yeah, you're spending your time around people who aren't testing your boundaries. So that looks really, really positive. Enjoy it. It's about warmth and kindness and feeling close and feeling, yeah, filled up emotionally. So very lovely weekend for row two. For row three, we start the week with the three of cups, which is about working really well and being really close with the people around you. It shows three women, but it doesn't have to be three. It can be any number. It's a good time for teamwork or planning things with people or getting together with people to get things done. And also just getting together with people, you know, after work or when you've got time make some time for your best friends catch up it'll be good for you it'll feel good making time for our best friends as always makes us feel good afterwards we feel feel yeah cared for so do make time for that if you can on monday and tuesday but it is a very very good time for connecting with people for being close with people and with the right people so monday and tuesday look awesome for row three Wednesday and Thursday we've got the Ace of Swords, we've got a lot of clarity, some decisions need to be made, you're wanting to make some big decisions, so it's a good time for that Wednesday or Thursday, you're very sharp, trust what you feel, it's really on the button this week, you'll know what you're doing, and yeah, you'll make some strong decisions about your life, it can be about your work, your career, where you live, your relationships, but it is all about decisions and believing in yourself and making them quickly rather than, you know, over analyzing them. Try not to overthink things. Your intuition's on, on the ball this week. Trust it. It will guide you. So, yeah, by the weekend, some of this clarity and decisiveness. We've got the five of swords. It looks like somebody's not enjoying it around you. OK, let's put it that way. It's like somebody's going to test you a little bit. So you're going to get a little bit of testing going on too. Um, whenever we change, those closest to us sometimes struggle a little bit with how to deal with the change. You know, it can be difficult when we've always been a certain way and then we start acting differently or setting boundaries or saying no or doing things differently. Sometimes our loved ones can sort of struggle with that and get a bit grumpy. So that's what I'm sort of seeing here. Um, the key to that is just to communicate very clearly and don't over explain yourself. Just say, no, no, I, I want to do it this way. Um, it's not personal. You're not doing it to hurt anyone. You're just doing things differently. And yeah, so you may have a little bit of opposition over the weekend from people who are maybe a little bit threatened. So keep that in mind. They're not just being jerks for the heck of it. They're just obviously having some trouble. And if you can be really open with them, it'll pass very quickly, I feel. But you are coming into a really good new strength. And not everybody's going to love that. But that's okay, because the right people will think it's wonderful. And that's what matters the most. <laughs> the right people will cheer you on. So, you know, that's the key really, isn't it, in life, to have people around us who care, who encourage us, who, rather than put us down or put us off or <laughs> tell us we can't do it. So, yeah, you've got, got some boundaries to set there with somebody who's feeling a little bit threatened. So, anyway, it looks like an awesome week for everyone, really. A lot of growth, a lot of new new steps, new trying out new ways of dealing with things, which we all learn as we grow. And um, it's a positive thing from what I'm seeing here. And just a little bit of testing, like through the recent times with the eclipses and Aquarius full moons and um, retrograde planets and all sorts of things like that have been going on like really lots over the last two months. Um, we've been learning a lot of new things and reflecting a bit on what works, what doesn't, learning some new things and now it's time to practice it, to use it. So 
yeah, there will be some little tests as we try and get better at these things, and that's okay. Um, they'll pass. <laughs> but anyway, for row one, it just looks like one fantastic joyful week, so that's pretty awesome. So, but yeah, I do feel that the test for row ones, because it really looks overwhelmingly fantastic, um, is to receive, to have your arms open, be ready to receive the goodness that the universe is bringing you, whether that's in the form of love or things or hugs or anything um, positive and beautiful. Um, yeah. You're being tested to receive and to open your arms and to let that goodness in. So, anyway, it looks like a great week. Um, and lots of love to you all and I'll see you all next week.